Melissa. Mm -hmm. 52 different cards. I have you name one. Uh, King of Diamonds. King of Diamonds. If your life depended on it, do you think you could reach into there and cut exactly to the King of Diamonds? No. Would you hold your hand for me like this? I will you to succeed. Will you close your eyes for me and just reach down and cut? Which one did you say? Seven of spades? No, I said the uh, King of Diamonds. Please. <laughs> Does this mean I live? <laughs> I'll have to think about it. <laughs> Hi, is Jamie in? This is me. Hi, Jamie. This is Paul. Hi, Paul. How are you? So good. What's up with you? I'm just playing some solitaire. What are you are doing? You? you think if I had you think about one of those cards, I could tell you which one it is? No. Well, I'm going to try something with you. So if I can interrupt your game, gather all the cards up, give them a, a real good shuffle, and let me know when you're done with that. OK, there's no way I could know the order of those cards, no. right? But what I want you to do is take it and cut it into a three about equal pile of cards. Okay. Okay, and now pick up any one of those three piles, it don't matter which one, and just to make sure, give that one a good shuffle too. Okay. All right. You're happy there? Turn that pile around and look at the bottom card. Now don't okay. say anything out loud about it. All I want you to do is to concentrate on that one. That's the one I'm going to try to get. Okay. Do you believe in telepathy? Maybe. Well, if this works, you'll see a link of minds over time and space. <laughs> Take that okay. packet, keep it face up, and put it on top of one of the other two face down piles. All right. And then take the pile that was left over and keep it face down and put it on top of those two. Okay. All right, so you have a pile of face-up cards sandwiched in between two face-down packets. Yeah. And I want you to cut that about into the middle. So you have two piles on the table. Are you with me? Yep. And then shuffle those two piles together so that they're really good and mixed. Okay. And when you're done with that, just hold them in your hand as if you were dealing a game. Okay. Are you done? Yep. Okay. Now, I'm not going to worry about the face down cards, but what I do want is for you to tell me when you come to a face up card. So make two separate piles, put the face down ones into a pile, and put the face up ones into a pile, and name the face up ones to me as you come to them. Okay. Queen of Diamonds. Queen of Clubs. Ace of Spades. Ten of Hearts. Jack of Spades. Uh, Ace of Diamonds, Spades, Ace of Clubs, Six of Clubs, Queen of Hearts, Eight of Diamonds, Three of Spades, Five of Spades, Eight of Hearts, Six of Hearts. All done. Okay. You know, I think I got a pretty good idea so far. Are you aware of any signals that you've been sending to me? No. Are you aware of any signals I've been sending to you? No. Well, let me see. Just one more time. Take your card out of the pile and just, just lit up and stare at it for me. Don't say anything about it. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I was right on the color. It's definitely red. Yeah. And just look at the suit there for me. It's a diamond. Yes. And it's a number card. Count those for me just in your mind, not out loud, just in your mind. And there's one, two, three, four diamonds on that card. You're thinking of the four of diamonds. How did you know that? That's pretty good, huh? Oh my god! Wow! Now you have to believe in telepathy. That's a link over time and space between two minds. <laughs>